Thousands of people in the Northland are waking up without power for the fourth day in a row. Sloan Heller is live at the Gladstone Public Works facilities with more. Good morning, Sloan. Good morning, Curtis. You can see this building uh, does have power, but all around us it is dark. A good portion of Gladstone still without power this morning. Uh, the good news, though, KCPNL is reporting that they've restored power to about 95% of the homes and businesses that lost it uh, during last week's th uh, storms, of course, on Thursday and Friday. Now, crews working 16 hour days, they say, of course, Saturday storms did put a dent in their efforts. At one point, more than 120,000 people without power between St. Joseph all the way to Sedalia. Now, we spent time in a North uh, Land neighborhood talking to a bunch of seniors, a lot of frustration, some of them telling us that they've been calling KCPNL, they haven't been able to get answers from anybody, some with medical issues even had to leave their home, and others say they simply just lost their food and their patience. If they would have told me, I could have done something different. And, you know, could have put the dog someplace. We could have gone somewhere, take, saved our food. But not knowing, there's not much you can do. Now, if you have any sort of storm debris, you live in Kansas City, you can drop it off here uh, today all the way through Sunday between 8 and 5 p.m. Also, there will be a drop off in Overland Park starting today, and that's over at the Young Park. We're live this morning in Gladstone. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News today.